Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the England Save. We're in the third qualifying match for the World Cup. Last game that we just played off camera was 3-0 victory against Slovenia. So two back-to-back 3-0 -back wins for the England side. Berahino got himself a hat-trick. That boy was on fire. Again, fullbacks performing well. Midfielders performing well. Front three got it together eventually. Slow start, but in the second half, gradually grew in confidence. Again, it's just about getting this team acclimatised to the normal formation, a new tactic, new way of playing things, but so far, so good. We take on Lithuania at home at Wembley, the home of football, the greatest stadium in the world. You know it's true. Uh, uh, no, sorry. Anyway, that's a, different, that's a different thing. Today's squad... Today's team, we've got a few players who need some rest after the last match. So this is a starting lineup for today. I'm going to stick with Callum Wilson and Berahino up top. I like those two. They worked well together in the last match. I want to keep those two on the pitch. Although the fitness has dropped down a little bit, I still think they've got something to offer in this game. Jack Wilshere is just going to come in and sit behind those guys. Um, so far, uh, Ward Prowse and Barkley haven't really acclimatised to that role as well as I would like. So I'm going to give Jack Wilshere his opportunity to really shine in that in that midfield. Danny Drinkwater and Henderson in the middle. Uh, Phil Jones in behind them. Eric Dyer and Deddy Alley need a little bit of a break. Luke Shaw, uh, Stephen Corker, who's coming to the side. John Stones and Kyle Walker. Now, in terms of the actual squad itself, not really an awful lot has changed other than the fact that we have made a couple of adjustments. Kyle Walker's coming for Nathaniel Klein because Nathaniel Klein is injured. Daniel Sturridge has recently been injured, so Jay Rodriguez came in for him. Other than that, it's more or less the same squad that was there last time. As said, not wanting to change too much. I want to try and keep the same players in and around the team as much as I can. Enough jibber-jabber, let's get into the match. Lithuania starting with a standard 4-2-3-1 formation. Not really kind of bothered about what they're wanting to get from this game. It's all about how we can do. Just going to say, go out there and carry from where you left off, boys. They seem pretty psyched and pumped up for this game. As I said, let's just keep the tactic going. Keep the play, you know keep the ball moving. Keep it going. Quick action up to the front two. And hopefully we can cause some damage today. You see that in terms of a league table... We're kind of running away with it at the moment. Everyone else is kind of picking up results against each other. But, as I said, for me today, I just want to see the boys, again, getting used to the tactic, getting used to how we play. Let's cause some damage in this match. First attack goes the way of Lithuania. Unless we can win the ball, we do. Wilshire to Wilson now. Plays a good ball up to Berahino. He's bearing one-on-one -on -one with goal. Oh, just over the bar. Early opportunity there for the England national team. That's a good start. Very quick play to get it from the midfield up to the front. That's exactly what I want. Although, bad news. Jordan Henderson has picked up an injury. That is not good news at all. I am just going to bring in Ross Barkley into midfield. Him and Jack Wilshere are going to switch around. Jack can go as an advanced playmaker for the time being. Ross Barkley can sit just behind those guys. Attacking midfielder, attack. Hopefully, he can take this opportunity that's been sprung upon him now. Hopefully, Jordan Henderson is not out for a massive amount of time. That would be a big blow to us if he is. Danny Drinkwater on the ball now. Plays it up to Wilson. Turns around, looks for someone to pass to, but skips past his man. He's running inside now. Can he get a shot away on goal? He does, but the keeper easily stops it. That's probably our major, well, our, probably our best chance of the game. And it's come from a shot that is easily dealt with. So the front two not really working as well today, but they are both tired. I'm going to give them a benefit of the doubt. Sure, with the throw in inside the drink war now. Good ball up to Berahino. Shot and goal. Just like that, Berahino's not having a good match. He turns on the start and that's his 10th goal for England. There he is, Berahino, nice touch, into his feet, good left hand foot, you know, sorry, left foot shot, bottom left hand corner, boom. That's what I'm talking about. Half time, 1-0 to England. I am just going to say, calmly, you've played well, but there's room for improvement. Because 1-0 against Lithuania is not fantastic, it's, n it's not bad, but it's not fantastic. Just the one sub I'm going to make at half time, Joel Ward, I'm going to give him an opportunity to really stake a claim in this team. 
Kyle Walker has come in for Nathaniel Klein. And to be honest, I've put my faith in Kyle Walker because I know what he's capable of doing. But as I said, this is Joel Ward's opportunity to shine. Hopefully he can he can put in a good performance and justify why I've called him up to the national side. He's going to come in on the right-hand side. Luke Shaw's had a decent game. Let's hope that, uh, as I said, Ward can have a decent game on the right-hand side as well. So Lithuania on the attack now. Played all the way out to the front. Can we get a tackle in? Decent passing around from them. On the left-hand side, they play a good ball out to the right-hand side to Petrovic. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Plays it back to Jiglas. Oh, I don't even know. Some names I can't even pronounce. Good job I'm not the Lithuania manager because it'd be a, I'd need a whole, a whole series just to try and <laughs> figure out what the names are. But Berahino is on the attack. Plays it to drink water now. Good ball inside to Ross Barkley. Ball is tackled and Berahino collects the ball again. Good ball back into the middle. Jack Wilshere in off the post. And that's the goal. Get in, Jack. Well done, lads. Exactly the impact I need from you. Here's Berahino on the right-hand side. Jack Wilshere with the header. Oh, I think it just about hits the goalkeeper. But it hits the post. In off the goalkeeper. 2-0 England. Wilshere back to Corker. Long ball up to Wilson and his marker just completely gives up the ghost. Wilson cuts inside. Can he get himself a goal? Shot is saved and he's got the rebound in. Yes, 60 minutes in. 3 0 England. Get in. As I said, he just picks up the ball on the left hand side. His marker gave up. Cuts inside far too easily. Keeper just parries it out. And Wilson's just there to tap in after his initial effort was saved. 3 0 England. Corner to Lithuania. Oh, own goal. Own goal by Luke Shaw. And that's the first goal we've conceded in qualifying. Disappointing. Corner comes in. He's under absolutely no pressure at all. It just hits him and goes in. That is so disappointing. I wanted a third clean sheet in a row. God damn it. Here they come again. Surely they can't get a second goal now. They're on the left-hand side. Ward makes a clearance. Berahino just picks the ball up. Plays inside to Barkley. He needs to get the ball right here to drink water. Lovely ball over to Berahino. He's offside. What a finish. But he was offside. Barkley picks up the ball on the edge of the area. Wilson's there. 4 0. 4 1, rather. Callum Wilson gets another goal. Ball's headed clear here. Ross Barkley on the edge of the area. Puts in a decent ball. Defender doesn't make any sort of clearance or touch. And Callum Wilson's there just to fire home. 4 1. And there it is, full-time, 4-1 win for England. Again, another solid win. We're not against the best opponents. Let's not get carried away. But the boys are gradually, as I said, getting used to the tactic. Other than the own goal, a very, very professional performance. We're top of the table with nine points from three games. The rest of the teams are kind of fighting amongst themselves for that second spot. Good, solid start to the campaign. The boys are getting used to the tactic. And gradually, partnerships are being drawn up all over the pitch, and I like that. This is, as I said, just an opportunity for people to stake their claim, get used to the tactic, and get used to how we're playing. That will wrap up another England Save episode. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, adios.